<laughs> I think last video I started with a bit of a shell shocked look as well. Oh yeah, it's the journey. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Pen Pals. Pen Pals? Oh, no, we had a week of good game work. Let's go. Uh, Pete was away for two weeks and we had left on a bit of a rocky note because we tried, before he left, to shoot the um, first film, first dev diary of this series. <coughs> so it was going to be kind of this, uh, just an intro to the game covering how it was developed, like just kind of outlining what the series would be, like it was going to be like kind of high energy. Uh, but when we tried to shoot it, we were exhausted from just weeks of like Melbourne and then organising and incorporating the company and organising moving uh, into the powerhouse. Um, and at the same time as being very tired, we were also really, really hyper on coffee. <laughs> we were! Um, <laughs> so it was not a good combination. We were also stressed out by doing the teaser trailer at the same time. Because it wasn't and we'd working. we set ourselves, it wasn't working, we set ourselves a deadline for that. So we were just bickering in the middle of it. So we didn't, I don't think we could end up using it. Um, so that was a bum note to end, just as you went away to NZ. Yeah, no um, one wants to do a re-record. No, oh god, still haven't. It'll happen. Anyway, um, so when Pete was away, I wanted to work on things that had been causing some of this tension, which was the teaser trailer, uh, which has been mentioned in previous videos. Um, that was that was one of them. Also, um, being able to for me being able to make changes to the house and then be able to um, enact those at changes in the game so pete usually had to move things around when i change things in the house he, he, he has to move things around to make the coding side of things work and um, that's often a cause of frustration because the way i work is very like um change heavy like i make something a to see it and then i think about it and i change it again and that kind of thing and that and doesn't always gel with both the way Pete works in general and also the way you need to work in games making as well. Um, so I was trying to work on that and so I did eventually put together a whole, change a whole scene, including the coding side of things, um, which is really great because that means that's a load of work taken off of Pete and attention resolved. Um, and I also worked on, got into the animation side of things because we'd been struggling with the teaser trailer. We wanted it to be ready for Halloween, but that wasn't gonna happen. Um, but still wanted to have something to release, so I decided I would get across rigging, which is good because like I was building the characters and rigging them, but I wasn't animating them, and that like left a gap between in my knowledge of what needed to work and how I needed to work in that particular end result side of things, um, and it has really helped. So at the end of just before we came back, I put together a small teaser trailer as well. Um, oh, and I also decided because I was also putting these films together, um, adding titles and things. I was watching through it, and I'm like, oh, every single week we're talking about marketing and admin, and marketing and admin. It's like, okay, we need to have more structure in that. <laughs> Otherwise, it's gonna overwhelm the project and we're not gonna actually work on the game, as you said before. Yes. So we have to, in my, I have to put in place a system, which is I work in the mornings on the game, and then in the afternoon it's admin, marketing stuff. Yeah. Um, and I think that's been... Yeah. We are very much morning people. We have, have our energy and our clarity of thoughts and all of that before lunch. And so that is a coveted window of time. Mm. There are several things that we can only do in the morning and you gotta really pick and choose which yeah. one of those things actually gets to do that. I will also add in this brief cutaway moment is that I was up working last night tending to the um, render baby speaking of the teaser trailer because um, our bedroom's just through there and we could hear it for hours because I decided to render it in cycles which in Blender it's a way of making very beautiful images but just takes a huge amount of processing power on the computer so we were laying in bed and we could hear the computer it's like a wind machine <laughs> Ooh. 
It's like giving birth to the <laughs> giving birth to our little baby. <laughs> yeah, more like that. <laughs> For like, it was still going at four a.m. That was a long night. We should have just set it up on my Apple Silicon Mac because it does it in a quarter of the time with no sound. I was just <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to see what it could do, and it was not worth it. I'd do it again. <laughs> what again? Cycles, like when you cycle. Oh, you right. I thought you meant you have to render it again. I'm like, what? Oh, well, probably, knowing me. Oh. Um, anyway, moving on. Um, so that was a really good period of time. And then Pete came back and he was happily kind of thinking, oh, sorry, you can, I've been talking enough. You can. What am I talking about? What you've been doing? What you've been working on this week? I uh, had a wonderful break for two weeks with my um, brother and sister in Wellington. And so I came back so ready to get working on the game again. Even admin, I was like, I'm ready to fill out forms. I am ready to, I wasn't ready. I'm never ready to fill out forms apparently. But I you did some beautiful file structures though. <laughs> All the forms are beautifully organized. Yes, yes. Things, things are in folders that are labeled <laughs> appropriately. Um, I, yes pulled together the beautiful work Scotty had done for the teaser trailer and uh, Magic City Counterpoint, who are good friends of ours and did the just glorious Fern Bells track from Queen Anne Peering. Just off the cuff, sent Chris a message and said, Oh, look, the next game is kind of spookier. Do you have anything from the forthcoming EP that everyone should be very excited about uh, that will help? And he sent through a track. I'm like, oh yeah, he sent through another track. It was like, this hasn't made the EP, but this might be a bit darker than what you're after. And it was absolutely perfect. Mm. And we are enamored. And one thing that I really love about not getting... Um, music, what do you call it? Score, like not, not composed. having- Composed. Composed was the word I was looking for. Not getting um, music composed for the game, but rather choosing tracks that we already like and then finding a space for them in the game is it adds an entire other world. It, it adds, adds an entire life. Yeah. Because the track is something, is its own baby on its own. Mm. Let alone when it comes to the game, or in this case, the trailer. And so, to I, me, it's just like an exponential increase in interest. Absolutely, I felt it in the background of my brain, affecting, generating ideas and things like that. Just absolutely. bubbling away, like you had a great idea for a trailer. Yeah, for because a, a proper full um, gameplay trailer, well, not gameplay trailer, but like game engine trailer that mm. we will perhaps do in the coming months, just using this track again. And it's so friggin' good. I love it so much. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this is just for a teaser, it's like 15 mm. seconds long. Mm. Really, absolutely delightful. So that's going really well, and when Scotty finally decides that he can stop re-rendering it, because I thought versions ago he could have stopped, um, it's my way. Yeah, so it's me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then the teaser will be out and we will finally announce uh, Janet DeMorne to the world. What episode is this and we still haven't announced it? Eight. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, and then I have been writing because while we're working on applications for things and all this other stuff, realized we kind of needed to start knowing what the game is going to be story-wise. We've had, obviously, we like have a really somewhat murky clear idea on where the game goes and what happens and the events we really want to be in it. But it's very different when you sit down and you're like, what do they say? What do the characters yeah. do? Yeah, does and that actually work? What, your moment by moment. It's yeah. It's very different. So I've got a first draft out on the first two chapters of potentially five or six chapters at the moment. Mm -hmm. And... It was really fun. Yeah, good. I had a great time. Scott hasn't read it yet, so... No, I think... We'll have a grim next episode where I talk about the problem, how silent he was. 
<laughs> Always, yeah. Like <laughs> as I was putting together the series, it's like, oh, there's a theme here, and it's there's yeah, there's Pete there's doesn't a take feedback well, yeah. and Scott doesn't <laughs> give it well either. <laughs> so yeah, I'm letting you, and I'm, I'm not letting you go, but like I, I that Have was you very yeah, good, good. <laughs> um, yeah, that was something. Um, when you left. That was the big takeaway, which was you've been doing all this stuff, um, admin kind of stuff, hadn't had time for the creative side of things, mm. and I'd been doing a lot, um, so you felt like you weren't contributing much, so it's important, I think, that you have, and I've said this, you have your own quarter of the game, your own section that is very much your running and generating it, so script and puzzles, I think, is where you're naturally drawn to, so that's a good yeah. energy space for you. And especially because the way that we want to put puzzles into the game are very like they're part of the world they're maybe a little bit resident evil 2 where like or resident evil no 2 where the um it's the police chief who just went a bit crazy and then set up puzzles like they're there it's not that suddenly there's tetris no kind of thing no it's it's yeah it's very much the medallions and the generals in the statue yes that's a great description I yeah love that. Yeah, and so it makes sense to write them with the story. And also because I'm the one that literally builds the mechanics and also because I build the mechanics have a bit of a um, clearer idea of, well, I have to be able to make it and I have to know how I'd make it. And so it's kind of easier that I begin concepting with that. And I enjoy it I think yeah. more than you as well. Yeah, I think so. I think that's a better thing where I'm kind of coming in and being like, just a scope creep stuff, just puzzles and things like that. Yeah. Like, oh, you know. Having said that, I did that's add simpler. several new mechanics just to this chapter two of the script. So, so more of that thread to come. <laughs> Tension to be continued. Oh, foreshadowing. Is this foreshadowing? Oh, yeah. Oh, great. Um, what a treat. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so I think that's a good space. I think um, having set periods of time when we're able to go and do our separate things. And I think that's just a confidence thing, right? Now it's like everything's kind of becoming set, like visually it works, like yep. construction wise, it, the back and forth between us is working quite well. Um, I have my afternoons of admin work, which takes off some of the work you have to do mm -hmm. as well. Like just basic stuff like organizing flights and yeah events yeah and, and then email emails oh, and stuff i do need to yes while i was i'm on holidays having a lovely time checking out wellington uh, getting sand blown in my face from it it was lovely weather i'm like um and i'm just getting these emails of all these things that scott's following up on and scott's organizing and doing it's all the stuff that all the admin that i normally do it was amazing. It was like when something you know you have to do that feels endless and will never end, mm. and suddenly someone else did it for you. I oh, guys had insurance. Yeah, that was hell. I deserve a pat on the back for that. <laughs> Great. <laughs> See you soon, kids. <laughs>